everyone! Some of you might know, I did Crystal's makeup and hair for her wedding, and also for her photoshoot in Tadashi Soji 30th anniversary campaign. In this tutorial, I recreated both look to be easier and more wearable for all of you. Let's start with makeup. I already put her foundation. I used Bare Mineral Well Rested for under eyes and lightly powder her inner face with MAC Skin Finish in light and medium dark for the outer face. For her eyes, I applied Toasted and Hustle on her lids from the Naked Palette. Then use Buck on the outer corner and crease to blend. Use MAC Cream Eyeliner in Deep Down around the lash line and wing it on the outer corner to create a soft and sexy smoky effect. Then use black eyeliner to deepen the color. Gently apply dark brown color to blend the eyeliner. Then curl her lashes and apply mascara. If you want to look extra fancy, you can apply full lashes. I'm using Wispy Real Hair False Lashes that I purchased in Indonesia, but you can use any brand you like. For her eyebrows, I'm using Anastasia Dark Brown in Powder. Using small strokes, I follow her natural eyebrow shape. I don't contour her face so much because I want this look to be youthful, fresh, and natural. And she already has a nice cheekbone so she doesn't need much contouring. I use Melba from MAC for her blush and apply MAC Pearl for highlighter to give that nice glow. For her lips, I'm using Crystal's favorite lip stain by Maybelline in Cool Coral number 150 as a base. Then deepen the color with Mika Forever Lip in Soul in 13C. For the first hairstyle, I'm going to create a modern old Hollywood hair. It's super easy. First, apply heat protection. And here's my big little secret. Use a crimper all around the crown area. Take a thin section and crimp your roots about an inch for extra volume. It will create the big hair without teasing it. Pretty awesome, isn't it? This technique has been used in Asia for a very long time because Asian hair is usually really straight. Now, create a deep side part. Curl the hair in vertical sections. Section it as big as the iron. Here, I'm using an inch Marcel iron, but you can use a regular curling iron too. Curl only in one direction all the way to the other side. Let it cool down and don't mess with the curl. After you curl all the hair, spray with some hairspray and brush it gently. And there you have it. You can tuck one side behind your ear for the vintage feel. For the second look, I create this look for Chriselle's wedding and one of Tadashi's Soji photoshoot. She loves that tussle romantic updo. First step is to divide your hair in two big sections. Start from the highest point of your head down to your ears. Then it's time to make the Shirley Temple curls. Start from the nape, curl all the hair by wrapping the hair on a half an inch iron. It's better to have someone to help you out with this part. You want to get as much curl as you can. And don't mess with the curl. Keep them tight and clean. After you curl half of the hair, you can start pinning. Divide the hair into three 
and twist and make it 3 loops by the nape area. This will be your base. and curl the rest of the hair with the same technique. Use the curl to create the texture. Then twist and pin them to the base. And simply take each curl strand, then pin them back. The curl will create soft framing on your face. Do the same on the other side. And then you can leave some hair out and let it hang for a more romantic look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. See you next time.